डॉक्टर आई वॉक एवरी डे टू द फ्रिज टू द लिफ्ट समटाइम्स इवन टू कैच द ट्रेन दैट्स एक्सरसाइज राइट सॉरी बट नो दैट्स लाइक सेइंग वॉचिंग मास्टर शेफ मेक्स यू अ कुक वॉकिंग इज द मोस्ट पॉवरफुल एफर्डेबल एंड सेफेस्ट बीपी मेडिसिन बट ओनली इफ यू डू इट राइट नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू एजी कार्डियो वाइज आई एम डॉक्टर अमय अमोनकर एंड टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉकिंग एज अ बीपी पिल वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वाई वॉकिंग वर्क्स and then i'll go on to bust some common myths decode the 10000 steps explain new walking hacks like your uh, japanese interval walking and show you how to start and progress safely by the end you will know exactly how to make every step count for your blood pressure so let's dive in walking isn't just moving your legs it's like giving your arteries a morning yoga stretch now every step signals your muscles to demand more oxygen your heart responds by pumping a little faster your blood vessels will open wider and your circulation improves scientific fact regular brisk walking lowers systolic blood pressure by 5 to 8 mm of mercury on an average now that's about as much as one standard blood pressure tablet now the indian icmr india app study found that indians who walked briskly for at least 150 minutes a week had 7 mm of mercury lower systolic blood pressure and lower diabetes risk compared to sedentary people another delhi based trial showed that 30 minutes of brisk walking 5 days a week reduced blood pressure significantly in just 12 weeks so what exactly happens inside see walking makes arteries flexible so blood flows smoothly instead of banging against the stiff pipes now stress hormones like adrenaline they come down calming your system now muscles soak up sugar protecting you from diabetes which doubles the blood pressure risk in indians now think of it like this way walking is like doing your daily jhadu pocha of your arteries now skip it for a week and cholesterol dust and stiffness start piling up do it every day and your blood vessels stay clean flexible and happy check now many patients think that casual walking like strolling in the office corridors sauntering in malls or panicking for your 823 virar local is exercise the truth it doesn't count as structured bp lowering exercise why because your heart rate barely rises your breathing doesn't quicken and your vessels don't get that regular training effect what lowers bp is brisk sustained walking 20 to 30 minutes where your pace is fast enough that you can talk but not sing feel a little sweaty and your heart rate rises to between 60 and 80% of your age predicted maximal heart rate or mhr now mhr is 220 minus age so for a 40 year old the heart rate should rise to 130 to 150 beats per minute during walking that actually counts so yes daily movement is good but to sweep your arteries clean you need the broom to actually move and not just lean on the wall now let's address the elephant in the room or rather the number in your fitness band 10k steps now do you know where this came from not from science but from a japanese marketing campaign in the 1960s for a pedometer called manpokai now literally meaning 10000 steps meter it caught on worldwide became the gold standard but research later showed the truth so don't need exactly 10000 steps to protect your heart now studies including a big one in the lancet and another in jama showed benefits start from as low as 4000 to 5000 steps per day especially for older adults now mortality risk drops steadily up to around 7 to 8000 steps per day now beyond that extra benefit is smaller it's like topping up fuel after the tank is full in indian context the average urban indian barely manages 3 to 4000 steps daily now with the desk jobs traffic screen time so for bp aiming for 6 to 8000 quality steps is both realistic and powerful so no need to obsess over hitting 10k every day think consistency not perfection because whether it's 6000 or 9000 it only works if your steps are brisk and regular and not just shuffling between sofa and fridge okay so how should you walk to get the real bp benefits now here are the most effective techniques backed by science and simple enough for daily life first is brisk walking walk at a speed where you can talk but not sing that usually means 100 steps per minute or 5 to 6 kilometers per hour now if you have a smart watch target a heart rate of 60 to 70% of mhr now doing this 20 to 30 minutes daily will burn 130 to 160 kilo calories stick to 5 times a week to get a 5 to 8 mm of mercury bp drop best for beginners and elderly because it's safe and sustainable second the japanese interval walking technique now born in japan this technique alternates 
थ्री मिनिट्स ऑफ ब्रिस्क वॉकिंग विथ थ्री मिनिट्स ऑफ इजी पेस रिपीटेड फाइव टाइम्स सो फॉर थ्री मिनिट्स वॉक एट योर रूटीन पेस एंड फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनिट्स ब्रिस्क वॉक एज इफ यू आर रशिंग टू अ मीटिंग एंड कीप ऑल्टरनेटिंग टू कंप्लीट योर थर्टी मिनिट्स स्टडी शो इट इंप्रूव योर ब्लड प्रेशर फिटनेस एंड शुगर कंट्रोल बेटर देन जस्ट स्टडी वॉकिंग थिंक ऑफ इट एज इंटरवल ट्रेनिंग दैट्स कार्डियो विदाउट द जिम इफ यू बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडी वॉकिंग वॉन्ट सम वराइटी एंड ग्रेटर कंडीशनिंग विदाउट रनिंग दिस वन इज फॉर यू थर्ड पॉवर वॉकिंग विथ आर्म स्विंग्स नो इट्स वॉकिंग एट अ विगर स्पेस दैट्स अराउंड फाइव टू सेवन किलोमीटर्स पर आर विथ डेलीबरेट आर्म स्विंग्स एंड गुड पोस्चर नो इफ यू कीप योर एल्बोज बेंट एट नाइंटी डिग्रीज स्विंग योर आर्म्स स्ट्रांगली एंड लैंड हील टू टो इट्स नॉट जॉगिंग दिस ऑलवेज वन फुट ऑन द ग्राउंड Now this burns higher calories that's around 180 to 200 kilo calories and has stronger effect on weight loss and vascular stiffness so best for young or middle aged adults who already are walking regularly and want to level up fourth incline walking want to supercharge your walk without running just add an incline walking uphill whether on a treadmill or a gentle slope in your colony increases your heart rate faster it burns 30 to 40% more calories and gives your legs and glutes a workout caution though incline puts more stress on your knees and ankles so if you have arthritis stick to flat walks or mild slopes now let's answer some common questions i get from patients ready for the rapid fire let's start question number 1 doctor i don't get 30 minutes free is 10 plus 10 plus 10 enough absolutely 3 10 minute walks lower blood pressure just like one 30 minute walk the science says consistency matters more than duration in one go question 2 what about elders is walking safe yes with safety in mind flat paths good shoes daylight walks even 10 to 15 minutes brisk walk daily lowers blood pressure if your knees protest try chair exercises or gentle yoga instead question 3 does walking with friends or groups help yes group walks reduce stress hormones and make you consistent plus the gossip and exercise means double bp benefit question 4 is mindful walking real or just fancy talk it works see focus on your breath your steps and surroundings it lowers stress improves rhythm and adds a meditation effect to your walk now if your spouse nags don't argue just go for a mindful walk saves bp and a marriage so whether it's brisk interval or just mindful walking with friends remember it's not about how many steps you count it's about making each step count now the most important question i get in the clinic doctor where do i begin the good news walking for blood pressure doesn't need fancy gyms or gadgets but it does need smart planning so start small if you are sedentary begin with 10 to 15 minutes daily even two short walks after meals can help lower your post meal blood pressure and sugars the progress slowly at 5 minutes every week aiming for at least 150 minutes of brisk walking per minute that's 30 minutes 5 days a week that's the golden number shown in studies to reduce blood pressure by 5 to 8 mm of mercury always warm up and cool down don't jump straight into power walking like virat kohli charging in for a quick single start gentle for 5 minutes then pick pace slow down at the end to let your heart rate settle avoid peak heat a 2 pm walk in delhi's june loo or mumbai's mason is not heroism it's an express ticket to heat stroke stick to early mornings or evenings if you must walk later choose shaded areas and wear a cap hydrate well carry a bottle even mild dehydration can raise your blood pressure a few sips before and after your walk go a long way listen to your body some breathlessness is fine but chest pain giddiness or severe fatigue are red flags stop and consult your doctor footwear matters your bata chappals are fine for grocery shopping not for a bp walk flat chappals equals knee pain and calluses so use comfortable walking shoes with good grip and finally make it fun music podcast a walking buddy or even chai pe charcha style evening rounds the best exercise is the one you stick to and now some special tips for seniors and patients with arthritis choose softer surfaces like parks tracks and not concrete roads even 10 minute bouts twice a day count use walking sticks if needed for balance always safety first so remember you don't treat walking like a punishment treat it like your daily meeting with your arteries a little effort every day keeps them flexible strong and happy small steps really do make a giant difference in your blood pressure all right let's tie it all together 
Walking isn't just exercise, it's medicine you prescribe yourself daily. Brisk walking keeps your heart in the fat burning zone. Interval walking like the Japanese technique trains your arteries to relax. Power walking or incline walking means extra calorie burn and extra stamina. And the biggest truth, it's not about chasing the 10k steps blindly. It's about 30 minutes of purposeful walking most days of the week. And that's what science shows really lowers your blood pressure. So don't overcomplicate. Start with what you can do, progress slowly, stay consistent and remember every step is a step away from heart disease. In our next video, best exercises to lower BP naturally beyond walking, we'll explore yoga, strength training, breathing techniques and more. Because your blood pressure deserves a full team and not just one player. Till then, grab your shoes, hit the ground and take charge of your blood pressure one step at a time. Share this video widely and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. Goodbye and see you in the next one.